In this video, I'm going to share with you a great little bomb concept out of Trips Tied In. It's something I haven't really talked a lot about here on the channel. I think it's a really good little motion concept as well. You're going to be able to beat a lot of different defenses with this. You're going to be able to basically bomb almost every coverage in the game while also having some really good checkdowns within your concept. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to go ahead and ask you to hit that subscribe button. My name is Cody, and I am a little bit under the weather this week, uh, just kind of dealing with some some illness and uh, so anyways just kind of bear with my voice but wanted to get this video out and share this with you so um, what we're gonna do here defensively is we're just gonna come out in the two four five cover four drop and we're gonna show you how to beat pretty much every coverage in the game what I like to do here is put my fastest receiver on the outside you could also put Mike make a good argument to put Mike Evans out there but I'm gonna just rock with, with Scotty Miller and we're gonna. You don't have to do this out of uh, PA kind of go. You could also do this out of Pat's Y in if you don't have uh, Hot Route Master. But I like to do it out of counter go. And what you're gonna see with this is we want to be on the right, the right hash mark. And basically, what we're gonna do here is we're going to put the outside receiver on a smart routed post. So we're gonna put on a post and then smart route it. We're gonna streak the outside slot. We're going to slant the. Um, inside slot Mike Evans we're gonna wheel the running back and then we're going to block the tight end and what you should see here is against pretty much any defense in the game you should have a pretty good shot to bomb them over the top now cover four to me does the best out of any coverage um, what we can do with the cover four if we're getting a lot of cover four is this little trick right here we're just going to motion Mike Evans across. And I will say this works significantly better against cover four in game than it does in practice mode. But if you do this little motion right here, I found that this makes it, you know, a little bit more successful. You can kind of wait on it and kind of get it open against cover four. If you ever get in a situation like that, just click on and cut it off. But it's really best suited for cover three and cover two. So against cover three, what you're going to see, same route combo. And we got we got super shedded. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna back the line off now. The well, the real thing that you do you do need to worry about sheds in game, but practice mode is a little bit. It's just a little bit more uh, exaggerated. The the sheds just shed faster. So, anyways, here's cover three. Get some good pass protection. Once he passes that safety, you should be able to hit this over the top as long as he obviously catches it you're going to be in a good position. So, you know, for the most part, this is going to be something that you can kind of rely on, specifically against cover three, cover two. And then cover four, like I said, it typically does a lot better in mutt than it does in um, practice mode for some reason. But you'll see, you click on, you swerve catch, and you see we're able to beat the cover three. Now, cover two, uh, actually, let's, let's uh, let me show you this real quick. As my controllers or my, my play art is glitching out of this world. So we're in a deep half. There we go. Okay. So this is cover three with a deep half. So if they, you know, sometimes last year what people would do to try to prevent being bombed is they would deep half their corners. What you'll see this year is it really doesn't affect that. And we can still bomb over the top for a one play touchdown. It's probably even a little better um, against the cover three you do with deep halves. And then cover two, real quick. I'll just audible over to wide here. So this is cover two. Now I will say cover two uh, with the mid read can sometimes be a little glitchy. Um, but for the most part, you should be fine. So here's your setup again. And then cover two. And you see we bomb it over the top. So we're bombing, you know, kind of two uh, of the most popular shells. And like I said, with cover four, um, you'll find in mud this works significantly better than it does in practice mode. I'm not honestly sure why. I think there's just, you know, the last couple times I've talked about this concept, we've had issues with cover four. Um, but in game, whenever I face cover four, I'm able to dot it every time. So... You know, just kind of one of those things, I guess, sometimes practice mode doesn't tell you the whole story, you know, and that's just kind of the way it is this year. But anyway, here is, um, here's cover two with the middle third. So you saw right there, we put the middle linebacker in a middle third. You see here's the routes. 
you can kind of read that slant and that wheel early and then if you have time you can hit this over the top of your cover two so as you see I mean they're gonna basically be forced into playing cover four even if and, I, and again I don't pretend to sell you that cover four really does work like I said it, it works in this example but I've, I've, I've bombed cover four a lot out of this concept so you know just kind of take that with a grain of salt but then what you could do here is now cover four well you can hit your underneath routes so you can just check down your slant obviously if they're a user you have to think about it like this so let's say they're using this guy in a cover four defense and they're going to go guard the deep post which is kind of what people do if they know what's going on then it's real simple just check down right there and then you could do a quick spin and you're going to keep the offense on schedule so just a real simple bomb concept out of um out of this it does work pretty well um against man to man and the reason why it works so good against man um is be like for example cover one robert as long as you can beat the man coverage basically but You'll see right here, the deep third is still going to get pulled. The post is going to run underneath his face. And you can hit this for a one-play touchdown against cover one. And then with cover two, remember how the cover two coverage, cover two man, remember how the cover two defense uh, struggled with this because the safety got pulled to the wheel? Well, it's pretty much exactly the same in this example. So... You'll see here, deep half on the right, it's gonna get pulled to the to the to the right, and then you're gonna be able to hit this right in between the safeties for a one play score. So really the only defense in the game that even has a shot is cover four drop. And like I said, you know, cover four drop is not as good in uh, mutt as it is in practice, but I think part primarily because of the speed differences, and I also think just in general, but um, you know, for the most part, this is gonna be pretty successful for you. So I want to thank you for watching the video. This is just one of our several concepts we talk about in our Patreon. If you've not picked up a Patreon yet, I'd really encourage you to do that. I'm going to put a link to join the Patreon in the description of the video. You can just join it for $10, and for $10, you get everything. You get We release content in there every single week. We've got, I think, 14 offensive and defensive ebooks. We've got pro player breakdowns on the way. So a lot of really good stuff at the Patreon. If you've not joined it yet, like I said, it's just 10 bucks. So head on down to the description and click the link down below if you want to join the Patreon.